Hello, parents, guardians, caregiver, and girls, and welcome to the 2022 Cookie Sale Training. My name is Kelly Griffin. I'm the Director of Product Sales. I'm going to be your guide. So let's get started. Our theme this year is Climb with Courage, and this adorable fuzzy koala is our mascot. There are a couple of requirements for girl participation in our cookie sale program. Number one, the girl must be fully registered and paid for the 2021-2022 Girl Scout year. Also, the parent or guardian should fill out and submit the online girl permission form. The form is on our website, or there's a link that can be sent from your troop cookie coordinator. If you already submitted one for the fall product program, you do not need to submit another one for the cookie sale. Before submitting your girl's online permission form, be sure that you get your Troop Cookie Coordinator's correct email address. There's a space in the form where you need to input this information, so when you submit the form, it automatically sends a copy to that Troop Cookie Coordinator. Girl Scout participating in our cookie sale needs to set up her Smart Cookies account. In order to use Smart Cookies online, either via the website or the mobile app, every girl and parent must first create the user account. Parents will receive an email directly from Smart Cookies when it's time to register on the site. Don't delete the email. It'll say something like, no reply at abcsmartcookies.com. Be sure to click on that email and follow all the instructions. Here's an example of what the email will look like. There'll be a link inside the email for you to click. And once you click on that link, it takes you into Smart Cookies for you to register your account. And it also gives you all the prompts you need to fill out and finish registering your Girl Scouts account. Once you click the link in the email and follow the prompts, be sure to enter information into every field. Don't forget to submit your child's hoodie or t-shirt size, as this is what enables your Troop Cookie Coordinator to know what size hoodie or t-shirt your child will need should they earn that recognition level. One of the steps when creating your Girl Scout Smart Cookies account will be to upload a video link. The video link is available so when you send an e-card, you'll have an option to include the link in your invitation. This way, customers can see your Girl Scout telling them the reason why they should support her in her cookie sale. If you don't have a video, you can always create one. It's a known fact that Girl Scouts with videos sell more cookies. Once you've followed all the steps through setting up your Smart Cookies account, Smart Cookies will let you know that you've successfully registered your Girl Scout on the platform. At this point, you can go and begin uploading any contacts that you want to send e-cards to, or you can just browse around and look under all the different tabs and see what Smart Cookies can do for you. You can access your Girl Scout Smart Cookies account either through the website from your personal computer or through the mobile app. The Smart Cookies mobile app aligns directly with the desktop experience. All the screens are responsive design so girls can set their goals. They can see all the packages they've sold, see their five skills they can learn. They can send e-cards, take orders, view their sales, take payments, all on one platform. It makes it really easy for everyone. And we have another brand new cookie this year for the second year in a row. Now we have the Adventure Folds. The Adventure Folds are a rich, brownie-inspired cookie with caramel cream and a hint of sea salt. And I can't even begin to tell you how good these are. These are sure to be a top seller. Please take a few minutes and be sure you know our correct cookie names. It can get confusing with two Girl Scout cookie bakers and two different names for some of the cookies. Our cookies are the Caramel Delights, Lemonades, Adventurefuls, Thin Mints, Shortbreads, Caramel Chocolate Chip, Toastier, Peanut Butter Sandwich, and Peanut Butter Patties. Here are a few cookie sale basics to know. All of our cookie packages are $5. There are 12 packages of cookies for every case, no matter the variety, and we have nine total varieties of cookies. Our platform for all things cookies is abcsmartcookies.com. ABC also has a YouTube channel with many great videos available that give you directions for everything that you need to do in Smart Cookies. That address is youtube.com slash abccouncils. 
Please be careful when ordering cookies and be sure that you don't order too many as cookies are not returnable to the troop. As the parent, guardian, or caregiver, you do have a few important responsibilities to your Girl Scout. First and foremost, you should view the 2022 cookie sale training for parents and girls, and that's what you're watching right now. You should also communicate weekly, at least, with your troop cookie coordinator on your cookie order needs. You'll also want to turn in money to your troop at least once a week. Always make sure to sign the duplicate cookie receipt each time you get cookies or you turn in money. Pay all your cookie money to your troop by the deadline that's set by your troop cookie coordinator. You'll want to be sure to watch all the necessary short training videos on how to navigate smart cookies and how to maximize your sales experience. Here you see a list of lots of important dates. You may want to pause the presentation and take a screenshot so you can add these dates to your calendar. The majority of these dates are geared towards troop deadlines, however, so your troop cookie coordinator will likely give you, as the parent or guardian, earlier deadlines so that the troop can meet their deadlines. There's a few materials that you'll want to be sure that you pick up from your troop. The order cards with the recognition insert piece, door hangers for your Girl Scout, the cookie gram, and buy five coupon sheets. Talk a little bit about goals. It's really important for your troop to have a sales goal. So your troop should set a meeting to discuss and decide on the overall sales goal and what plans for proceeds are. Girls should also set individual goals. All girls that enter their personal goal into their Smart Cookies account by January 31st earn the Goal Getter Boost Bar. Once you have your Girl Scouts Smart Cookies account all set up, be sure to visit the Resources tab. There's a lot of information under this tab that can really be beneficial. A cookie calculator, allergen guide, ingredient information, rally guide, information about a new cookie, all sorts of stuff. So be sure to check it out. I've already mentioned a little bit about all the different tabs and links on the dashboard in your Smart Cookies account. However, one worth noting is the Safety and Training tab. Under this tab are tons and tons of videos that our baker has done that explain how to navigate everything in Smart Cookies. So if you've got a question, you can always go to that tab and there's a video for everything I promise. If you are not in Smart Cookies and you want to go to YouTube, you can also go to ABC's YouTube channel www.youtube.com slash ABC Councils. All of the videos are available there as well. Also, please don't forget, there's no selling before January 15th at 9 a.m. So let's be a sister to every Girl Scout and not start until the start date of our sale. Probably the most important form and thing to be sure that you always sign during the cookie sale is the duplicate Girl Cookie Receipt. It looks like this. This is the official form on which all parents should sign when checking out cookies from the troop and when turning in money. It's very important documentation in case a collection issue arises. Troops should save this form for each girl for at least six months after the sale ends. They'll give you a copy of it once the sale is over, but during the sale, if you want a copy, just snap a picture with your phone. You'll want to download the Smart Cookies app to your mobiles for convenient and on-the-go access at your fingertips. Let's talk about plastic. Credit cards, that is. Did you know that you and your Girl Scout can always accept credit card payments from customers? It's super easy, absolutely free, and there is no setup required at all. It's all built into your Girl Scout Smart Cookies account. This is an individual girl and parent option. It's not something that's controlled or set up by the troop. So you have the option to do it no matter what the troop decides to do. It's all right in the Smart Cookies account and super easy. Be sure that you take advantage of this because it's sure to help boost your Girl Scouts cookie sales. Here's a few screenshots of what the credit card process looks like when you're using it from your Smart Cookies mobile app. Smart Cookies guides you through the entire process, and it's super simple. So don't be afraid of it. Be sure you offer this option to your customers. 
When you take a successful credit card payment from a customer, a credit shows from your girl's Smart Cookies account to the troop and also from the troop to the council. So your daughter doesn't owe the money to the troop and the troop doesn't owe the money to the council because the credit card payment gets deposited directly into our council's account. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we're well aware that customers may be more comfortable purchasing cookies online and having them shipped directly to their homes. Because of this, we've decided as a council to subsidize a portion of all direct ship shipping costs that go to customers. We hope this helps our customers to purchase more cookies and to feel more comfortable in supporting our Girl Scouts. Every troop is able to get cookies for an initial delivery in very early January, so girls have cookies in hand during the start of the sale. What you may not know is that we also have six weeks after this portion of reorders, or what we call planned orders. Parents should communicate with the troop cookie coordinator with your cookie order each week during this planned order period. Your TCC needs to know well before that Sunday deadline if she needs to order more cookies for your Girl Scout. We have a total of six planned order weeks where your troop can order more cookies for you and your Girl Scout. The very first planned order is due by your troop on Sunday, January 23rd before 9 p.m. So your troop cookie coordinator will likely give you guys as the parents or caregivers an earlier deadline so they can get this information input into Smart Cookies. Then every week after that for five weeks, there's another planned order that's due. In your Girl Scout Smart Cookies account, you and or your Girl Scout can easily send both girl delivered e-card invitations as well as direct ship e-card invitations, of course, once our sale begins. Girls and parents can also post a link to their sale on all social media platforms. Customers can order and pay directly from this link for both direct ship and girl delivered orders. Again this year, customers have the option to select girl delivery instead of just direct ship when they're ordering from your Girl Scouts posted social media link. So with the potential for links to be forwarded to people you don't know or people that live really far away from you, parents will need to approve or cancel all orders that come in as a girl delivered option through posted social media links. This is not the case with sending out e-cards. You don't need to approve or cancel those. There's more information on this process provided in ABC's training video. It's on ABC's YouTube channel as well as under the safety and training tab in Smart Cookies. So be sure to check that out. All girls individual selling links posted on social media can easily get passed to friends of friends or to friends of yours but that live far away. It's possible to get a girl delivered order from someone you don't even know or from someone that just lives really far away that you can't deliver to. For this reason, all parents and guardians will now have to approve or deny all of the girl delivered orders that come through any posted social media link. Parents will get an email each time a girl delivered order through the social media link is finalized and paid for in Smart Cookies. You will need to approve that order and agree to deliver to the customer or deny the order, which will automatically refund the customer. After the order is received, parents have five days only to approve the order. After five days, if the order isn't approved, it's automatically canceled in the system. If your Girl Scouts get an order through any posted social media link, their Manage Order page in Smart Cookies will show the order as pending approval. The parent will receive an email. If the email is not received, it can be resent from the Girls Manage Order page by clicking on the menu option on the order at the end of the row. Your troop cookie coordinator can do this. The email that each parent or guardian will receive will look something like this. And once you get it, just be sure to read over the email. It'll have a link in there that you can click in order to approve or deny the order. Another feature after you click on the link is an interactive map. This map shows the delivery location of the customer that ordered from your daughter. The map is also interactive, so when you click on the map, you can zoom in further and you can also get driving directions if needed. But this is a great way to know if the location is close enough to you that you feel comfortable delivering. 
After you've viewed the interactive map, you'll need to click Approve, which means you agree to deliver to this customer. Or you click Cancel, which means you can't deliver to the customer, and this will cancel the order and refund the customer that made the purchase. If you approve the Girl Delivered order, your Girl Scouts Manage Orders page in Smart Cookies will update to show the order is now complete and paid for by credit card. When placing a Girl Delivered order, every customer is asked if they would like to opt to donate the order to our Council's Gift of Caring, which is Operation Cookie Drop, should the order not be approved for Girl Delivery. If the order is not approved for Girl Delivery and the customer opted to donate when they first placed the order, then the customer receives this email when the parent cancels the delivery request. If the Girl Delivered order is not approved and the donation option was not selected by the customer, then the customer receives this email advising them that the order has been canceled and their card has been refunded. Parents can choose to not allow the Girl Delivered option to show up on any social media posted link. This option is a field that can be checked or unchecked in each girl's Smart Cookies account. Please view the related video under your Safety and Training tab on your Smart Cookies dashboard for further instruction on how to opt out of this option. Operation Cookie Drop, or OCD, is our Council's Gift of Caring program. Troops and girls collect monetary donations, which will be used to purchase cookies for our military troops stationed overseas, returning from deployment, or actively working for the military here in the U.S. Troops and girls receive the very same sales credit and proceeds as they would for a regular box of cookies. Girls that turn in donations of 30 or more packages will be included in each of our three drawings to win a giant four-foot plush koala. For every 30 packages donated into each of the three drawings, the girl's name goes again. So, donations for 60 packages gets a girl's name entered twice. 90 packages worth of donations, it's entered three times, and so on. All girls with donations equaling 15 or more packages earn the new Operation Cookie Drop Boost Bar seen here. And once again, our golden tickets return. With a golden ticket, troops have a chance to win $250 for their troops. There'll be tons of mystery shoppers, maybe even a few local celebrities handing out tickets. Listen up for more information on how to earn a golden ticket. So how do troops earn a golden ticket anyway? Good question. Troops earn golden tickets at Cookie Booth. They need to have their Operation Cookie Drop donation container with an OCD label displayed prominently at their booth. They need to have a goal chart displayed with their troop's goal and their troop number. Also, by having the appropriate number of girl to adult ratio while at the booth, have all girls wearing their Girl Scout vest, sash, or a Girl Scout item, t-shirt, sweatshirt, scarf, hat, a pin, anything counts. They also need to be following all booth rules and safety guidelines, including all the new COVID-19 restrictions and guidelines as well. Our popular Buy 5 program is also returning this year. The Buy 5 program is when customers purchase five or more boxes during a single purchase. They can enter online our contest to qualify to win a year's worth of Girl Scout cookies. That's one box of cookies for every week that year. Girl Scouts give customers a Buy 5 certificate and the customers use that certificate to enter themselves online in our drawing. This is a great way to upsell customers that purchase three or four boxes. The council draws six winners towards the end of March. It's a fun and exciting time and everyone that wins is so excited. Your troop will have an initial payment drafted from their troop bank account on February the 18th. So your troop will give you, the parent or guardian, a much earlier deadline to have all your Girl Scouts money turned into the troop so that they can safely deposit it into the bank to meet this deadline. Let's talk a little about cookie booths. Cookie booths are when a troop signs up to sell cookies, often at a retail location or at a business. It's important for parents to be involved and help the troop out with cookie booths. 
One of the most important things a parent can do is to read the parent booth guidelines and sign and return the bottom portion to your troop before working a cookie booth. These are available on our council's website or from your troop. Be sure you always wear a mask as well and stay six feet from others working the booth and use hand sanitizer frequently and especially after accepting money from customers. Be sure to be polite, cheerful, and thank all people that approach the booth, even those that don't make a purchase. It's important this year to really think outside of the box for booth locations for the troop and for girls. Cookie stands are something individual girls and parents can do in their own property. You can read more about these in the booth guide. Also, we're encouraging troops to target businesses in and around any high traffic locations. Here's an explanation of some of the terms we may use throughout the Girl Scout cookie sale. First of all, walkabouts. A walkabout is when a Girl Scout or Girl Scouts or Girl Scout troop map out a neighborhood and then walk the neighborhood selling cookies door to door in a residential area with adult supervision, of course. A rolling sale is putting cookies in a wagon and doing direct sales to customers in a residential area with adult supervision. This could also be any type of cart, golf cart, or anything like that, really. A caravan is when Girl Scouts go door to door in a residential area while supervising adults following a car with the cookies. And lastly, my favorite thing is a cookie stand. This is a lemonade type stand a Girl Scout can set up on her own property, you know, in front of her house or perhaps a community center in her neighborhood. She can sell cookies as her homeowner association permits. Once again this year, GSUSA will have their cookie finder link available starting February the 18th that will guide customers to make purchases online that directly benefits each of our troops. This will not affect or lessen a troop's on-hand inventory. These are like direct ship online orders and they'll be shipped from the baker's warehouse stock. However, the troop receives full credit for the sale. All troop numbers are automatically added to GSUSA's cookie finder from Smart Cookies and show up for customers based on the zip code that the customer enters. One of the best things about Smart Cookies is the girls' sales links. Well, we've got a couple of new things this year. Just like last year, each girl has their very own link that can be posted on social media, emailed out to friends, family, or sent directly to customers. Customers then click the link and place their order as well as pay for their order. Once the order is entered and paid for, girls can deliver the order to the customer. But this year, girls will also have a built-in QR code that's right in their Smart Cookies account. This can be printed on the door hangers we provide, on note cards, or any sort of paper that you choose so customers can scan it and then follow the steps to place their order. Also this year, there's a tiny URL that's built into the sales link. So no really long sales links anymore that you can't write out or that don't easily fit on the door hanger. Walkabout week begins January the 15th and runs until January the 21st. During this time, girls should sell at least 15 boxes of cookies to earn the walkabout boost bar. The troop cookie coordinator must transfer cookies in Smart Cookies from the troop to each girl that successfully sold at least 15 boxes in order for them to earn the boost bar. One of the items that you'll get from your troop is door hangers. Girls can use door hangers to hang on potential customers' doors, advertising their sale during walkabout week or at any time during the sale. This makes it easier to enable a no contact sale and it's also a great leave behind if the customer is not home. Each girl will get at least six door hangers, but you can print as many as you want. The e-version is available on our website. Towards the latter part of our cookie sale, there's a few things you need to make sure of. First of all, be certain that you're selling all of the cookies that you've ordered from the troop. If you have a significant amount remaining, be sure to speak up and let your TCC know. There are other girls in your troop who may want the cookies transferred to them. Also, be sure to turn in all money for cookies by the deadline that's set by your troop. Don't forget, sign that triplicate cookie receipt. And also, check to make sure the total your TCC shows in Smart Cookies for your girls' sales is correct and what you have as well. We have some really great recognitions this, this year. We have boost bars or our patches, but they're like patches but better because you can use them as a traditional patch on the vest 
or you can put them on the key ring, which is the first thing girls earn at the 25 box level. There are boost bars for everything. One can be earned for walkabout week, goal getter, operation cookie drop, direct ship, cookie diva, and there's one for each sales level as well. Here's some of our recognitions we're offering this year. You should see more detail about these on the insert piece inside the order card, also in our cookie gram. There's some great items and there's choices to be made this year. So if your Girl Scout sells more than a thousand, be sure to pay attention because each person will have to choose specific levels of what item they want. Superstar Destinations is probably the most popular program we've got involving our cookie sale. Superstar is an additional recognition program. It's for individual girls that sell 500 or more boxes. Even if your troop chose patches only, your girl still qualifies for Superstar Destinations. Girls earn points on a sliding scale based on their box sales. They can shop for prizes ranging from free movie tickets to theme park admission tickets to laptops to Eno hammocks to all sorts of destinations to travel to. Cookie Dough is one of the options for Superstar Destinations. Be sure that you download our Superstar Destinations catalog from our website. It's the parent's responsibility to submit the online form for Superstar Destinations by the deadline of March 20th, 2022. There's a link to request on our council's website, nccoastalpines.org. Items typically are mailed out the second week in June directly to each girl. You definitely don't want to end up like this guy and end up with any cookie debt. So to avoid owing any money for cookies, be sure that you communicate constantly with your troop cookie coordinator on how many cookies are needed to avoid overordering cookies and having any unsold inventory. If you happen to have slower sales than expected, then please alert your troop cookie coordinator so she can help transfer cookies out to other girls in your troop before the sale is over. Also, turn in money frequently. Don't leave money in your car or out in view anywhere in your home either. I know I've mentioned it a few times before already, but it's really important that you watch all of the really short videos under your safety and training tab on the dashboard in Smart Cookies. These videos will show you exactly how to do anything and everything you need to do while you're in the platform. It makes it so much easier and they're all very short. There's lots of places for you to go to get information if needed. Your first stop should be your troop cookie coordinator. Also, the abcsmartcookies.com platform probably has more information than you'll ever need. Also, our council website, nccoastalpines.org. There's a cookies page and a forms page that has tons of information for you. Another great website is the ABC Bakers website. It's abcbakers.com. There's great information about all of our cookies and our baker there. And lastly, the YouTube channel that ABC Bakers has created with all of the directional videos. These videos are also available on Smart Cookies, but if you want to visit the YouTube channel, it's youtube.com slash abccouncils. Okay, that's it. You're all done. Thank you for your time and attention and for helping your Girl Scout and your troop meet their financial goals in the 2022 Cookie Sale Program. From all of us here in the Product Sales Department, Kelly, Kiera, Lisa, and Leslie, we thank you for everything you've done and for your time and attention.